is up, dudes? Hope you guys are having a great day. This is the Dude of Shaving coming at you with another exciting fucking video. All right, guys. So today, let's not waste any time. We're going in with Rabbit Banana and Peanut Butter by PAA. This is one of their secret mashups. Um, I will not be linking it down below as it is an Easter egg. You guys need to find it yourselves, all right? So, you know, once you're in the game for a little while, You'll start knowing what PAA is all about. You'll end up knowing where to find these um, secret mashups, all right? So, I already got that shit preloaded with my some required making brush one. I actually won this shit from BBS Live. So thank you to Nate and Melly Mel. They are such cool dudes, dude. Like you literally, you need to go on Instagram Live Follow these motherfuckers, because they are so fucking legit, dude. They are, like, literally one of the coolest dudes I've ever met. Super upbeat. Super cool people. I mean, oh, and they give away some badass shit. I'm actually, dude, you know what? On my next, on my, uh next week, next BBS Live, I'm going to donate a lather head set, all right? So, boom, there you go. Donated. Lots of artisans donate their soaps fucking brushes to these guys and there's literally like what was it the last fucking live it was like what six winners i think they gave away a fucking car no i don't, I don't think they fucking gave away a carve razor which is fucking just poof, blows your mind all right so this shave i'm dedicating it to bbs live melly mel and nate dog i fucking love you guys and i wish you guys much success on your fucking instagram lives I love you guys, man. All right, so we're going in with the um, red banana uh, peanut butter. Boom, here's the aftershave I'll be going with. I don't have the PAA one, so we'll be going with this one. Same same shit, it's, it's very similar. So yeah, Doug. Oh, oh, fucking most important part. What the fuck am I thinking, man? All right, we're gonna be going in with the Duda Shaving Edge. Yes, I put my own edge on a razor, can you believe that shit? I am so fucking excited, dude. Like, I cannot wait to see how this shit shaves. I, I did shave a little bit with it, but I, it was like, it was like nothing. You know, I, I grow hair like a fucking thirteen-year-old boy, so it was literally nothing, and it felt pretty fucking good. All right, but we're gonna be going in with this shit now that you know, I have maybe two days. All right, so. Not the stallion edge, the do the shaving edge. All right, guys? And just in case this edge sucks, which I don't know, I don't, I don't think it is, man. Seriously, I think it's gonna be fucking great. Like, I can't wait to put that motherfucker on my face. Just in case, though, we got the Parker 510, home by the stallion. I love his edges. I have tried other edges, and you know what? His edge is, is my thing, you know? I love it. It's all right, guys. Let's go ahead and get into the damn shave. All right, fools, with the face. And uh, I did pour myself a little bit of Jack Daniels, just a little bit though, you know? Look at that, it's not, it's not that much, all right? So, cheers, fellas. Oh, appreciate you guys, thank you for subbing. I'm at a 251 right now, I believe, but I'm sure once I release this shit, four people will, <laughs> will unsubscribe. It always happens. It's all good though, man. You know, we're just here to have fun. We're here to have a good time. Ah, all right. Let's get into it. Banana. And peanut butter. God, I love the way the CK6 formula feels. I have not shaved with CK6 in quite a while. And there's just something about it. Like when it hits the skin, it's like very silky smooth. And very easy lather, man. Very lather friendly. And this brush, man. Nate Dog, thank you. Melly Mel, thank you, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. I wanted a white brush. I wanted one, and I was actually telling my boy Magic Mike about it. It was like, damn, you know what? I want a fucking white brush, man. And literally, next fucking week, boom, won that bitch. All right, here we go. Lather it up, lather it up. 
put a little bit more water, and we'll get into this fucking shave. Trust me, I can lather this shit like a beast. I will literally have a Santa beard with how much I loaded. I, lath I uh, loaded for about 50, 50 seconds, 30, 30-ish, 40-ish seconds. I overloaded. That's what I usually do, just used to it. Even though I'm not gonna like totally go all out on this lather because you know we're doing straight razor shaving. Every now and then though, I swear to God, bro, I'll just fucking go upstairs and just start lathering this shit. All right, I think that's it, bro. Like, such an easy, beautiful, beautiful fucking lather. I love PAA. PAA and a and &E, Peter Chakalis and Doug, you guys are the shit right now, all right? Right now, you guys are my top artisans. And you know what? I also like Dr. John's. Dr. John's has a very nice vegan base. Very nice vegan base. I think, honestly, those are my top three. Top three artisans right now. Okay, as far as the scent though, it's very, you, you get more of the banana than anything, but there is peanut butter at the base. You can smell it. You can smell it. <sighs> yeah, peanut butter's at the base. It's, it's nice, man. It's fucking beautiful, man. All right, there we go. We've lathered for way too damn long. Let me just go ahead and take one more drink of this, guys. Cheers. Oh yeah, all right, here we go. Honed by the dude of shaving, yours truly. And I went with the um, Chisera 600, the um, Naniwa 1K, the Naniwa 5K, and then as my finisher, the, um, the Naniwa 1K. Did I say the Naniwa 1K? It was a Shapton, sorry. I went with Shapton, so, eh, whatever. I'm a little bit buzzed. Sorry, guys, I ain't gonna lie. Do I ever fucking lie to you guys? Hell no, but those were my progressions. The last finisher was a 12K um, Naniwa. All right, super soon, so, yeah, that's what it was. All right, fools, let's get into it. That was comfy. That is fucking smooth. <laughs> I'm proud of myself, guys. I'm proud of myself. Oh man, <laughs> this is this is unreal for me. Yes. Oh man, I can't believe I fucking put my own edge on there. <laughs> this is fucking so awesome. Guys, if you guys are barely getting into straight razor shaving. Sorry. If you guys are barely getting into straight razor shaving, I highly encourage you guys to get some stones. I know it's expensive, but the reward of having your own edge on a razor is fucking unreal. Like... I am at loss for words right now, honestly. Like, this is, I don't want to say a religious experience, but almost, all right? Don't take offense to that, guys. But it's, it's fucking awesome, man. It is awesome setting your own edge and, and enjoying it. Like, I fucking actually enjoy it right now. All right, let's see. Oh, my God. This was the part that I'm worried about because like this is where the coarseness is here and here and I am so proud of myself right now. I think I cut myself right there. Probably not. I always say that and there's never fucking blood. Oh fuck, maybe I did though. We'll see. Yeah, a little bit. Oh shit, and you know what? I cut myself here. Wow. 
when I went towards the mustache area, I felt that it was extremely fucking smooth. Okay? Extremely smooth. Extremely sharp. So I might have over sharpened this. And I have a mole here. So, yeah, I, I caught that for sure. I caught that there. This is really sharp, guys. I think I over sharpened it, honestly, because I did spend quite some time on the uh, 12K, my finisher, which is basically another word for like um, a grit, basically. You know, it's kind of like, uh, like sandpaper. 12K grit. And no, I didn't have that much to drink. I'm not drunk. I think this is just extremely sharp. Sharper than I'm used to, maybe? Yeah, it's, it's very fucking sharp. No joke. It's just cutting like fucking butter, I swear to God. Wow. Yeah, there's some blood. It's all right though. Regardless, I'm still proud of myself. I do have a um, Shubadani or Shubadini. I'm sorry. I, I don't really know what it's called, but I managed to get one from um, one of the homies from the Facebook, uh, Rich Man Facebook group, Alejandro Marti. So thank you, Doug. $130 for uh, a J Net stone. So I'll be, um, I'll be practicing on that soon. And Stallion, I'll be hitting you up on pointers for that type of stone. All right. And you know what, man? Like, I can stop right here. <laughs> it, it was so fucking sharp. I'm not, like, no joke. It's fucking sharp. All right, let's just do some touch-ups. I can legit say I cut myself now, all right? The last time I cut myself, I was drunk. So that didn't really count. All right. Holy shit. Your boy, the dude is shaving, puts on a sharp fucking edge. I should not be talking. All right. A little bit here. Oh, it's really cutting though. Like I'm I'm really proud of myself, guys. I don't mean to sound big-headed. I really don't. But <laughs> the feeling of putting your own edge, like I said, it's Unreal, but yeah, that was the shave. I cut myself and um, Next time I put my own edge on I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. I did spend a lot of time I feel on The uh, finishing stone so I fucking polish the fuck out of it. I must have set a good bevel. Oh And uh, hey this towel guys the end all be all. Just fucking with you. Normal ass fucking bath towel. That shit sucks, dude. Oh man, that shit sucks. All right, aftershave. Chisel face, banana. It's gonna burn. Oh man. Oh, that banana is so good. Beautiful shave. I am so proud of myself. See, the cut's already closed. We are good. I put a good edge on. I put a fucking extremely good edge on. That was just like butter. It was fucking sharp. It was a little too sharp though. I like the uh, stallion's edges because it's sharp as fuck, but it just feels comfortable, man. It is, it is a very comfortable edge and that's what I wanna get to. This was sharp as fuck, but the stallion's edges, they're, they're just something else, man. And I'll get there. I'm gonna fucking get there. I guarantee you I will fucking get there. All right? 
I'm not, I'm not a fucking quitter. I promise you that. I am not a quitter. And I will get to that level. All right, fellas. That was the shave. Thank you for joining me. Cheers. Please follow BBS Live on Instagram. You will not regret it. The new guys that show up on BBS Instagram, for some fucking reason, I don't know why, they always win. They always win fucking something. Every BBS Live, the new guy always wins. So be that new guy, all right? And just fucking follow them. You will not regret it, all right? Uh, this is the dude of shave. We had a successful shave. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. And that being said, do soon.